frogs are back. Spring is here, and that can only mean one thing, that the amphibians are starting to spawn. Now the usual order is that the frogs are going to be spawning first, and then toads and newts are going to be spawning or laying their eggs a little bit later on into March and April. And although it's a time of the year to celebrate because our amphibians are back, it's also time to ask that all-important question, should we be moving frog spawn or other amphibian spawn in general? And in order to answer this question, let's see what the professionals say. So we've got organisations like Frog Life, like Amphibian and Reptile Conservation and the Wildlife Trust. They all have guidance on what we do with frog spawn. Now it's really tempting to move frog spawn. It could be that it's in immediate danger. Maybe the water body that they're in is about to dry out or it could be a simple case of you've just built a pond and you want to kickstart it maybe it's even been there for a couple of years and you're yet to have any spawn and you really want something now while it can be really tempting to move spawn we have to think about some of the issues associated with it because it can come with unintended consequences so one of the big issues is going to be the spread of diseases we know that a fungal disease called chytrid fungus, which can really badly impact our native amphibians, is out there. And also we've got things like ranavirus and, to be frank, other diseases that we don't even know about yet. By moving spawn between ponds, we could be introducing diseases into areas that are yet to be impacted by them. It's not just invasive diseases, but it could also be invasive non-native species that we're accidentally spreading. Whenever we're moving spawn or amphibian eggs, we're also moving what else could be with them in the water or even within the spawn clump itself. That can include things like Crassula, which is a non-native invasive plant that can completely cover a pond and make it really unsuitable. Or it can even be moving invasive species like alpine newts. You could find newt eggs and want to introduce some newts into your pond, but you could be spreading uh, non-natives like the alpines which can have an impact and also in turn spread diseases to that pond and finally we really need to think about why is it that we don't have amphibians in that pond yet it could be that it's just newly established and it needs some time to become suitable or it could be that there's another issue there maybe there's pollution in the pond maybe you've got loads of domestic cats that are actually just killing all of the frogs in the area so there may be a reason already why you don't have amphibians and introducing them to that area could just be taking some amphibians from a, a healthy population maybe even a struggling population already and and just removing them and making it even more difficult for that existing population to survive now if you really do feel like you absolutely have to move frog spawn because the pond that they're in is about to dry out and they're nowhere near developing then try to move them as close to the pond as possible. If you only need to move them a few metres, a few dozen metres maybe, it's not so bad. Think about how that pond would already be connected to other ponds. But if you're popping spawn in a bucket, travelling quite a distance with it, it's not a good idea. You really do risk spreading invasive diseases, invasive non-native species, and also putting amphibians where it's not quite suitable for them. Ultimately, the best way for our amphibians to spread is via natural colonisation, by building a pond, giving it some time, maybe even a couple of years to mature, making sure they have good terrestrial habitat like untidy borders and log piles, things like that. They will come eventually. And as always, if you do see any amphibians or any spawn, make sure that you record them via one of the multiple different ways of recording them. It can be spawn watch, it can be record pool. There's lots of different ways to record your amphibians, so make sure you get those records in.